In this video, I'll show you how I modified a Polaroid 110A to use 120 film. Modification requires some skill, some cutting, and uh, mainly working with Fimo clay. So the 110A is a great candidate for a great old Polaroid candidate roll film um, because it's got a manual lens which you can control the shutter speed and the aperture and it uh, readily accepts because it's a roll film camera an old Polaroid roll film camera readily accepts roll film as you can see when you open up the back the original uh, film type that it accepted was instant roll film. The negative went here, the positive went here, and the negative was pulled over the film plane when the picture was taken. It went between these two rollers. You pulled it through, it squished a pod, and which spread some reagent on it, and then your picture developed inside the camera and you later pulled that picture off after about a minute of development. In this case, what I want to do was just simply use roll film in this camera, but not Polaroid roll film because they don't make it anymore. So, there are basically five steps to modifying a Polaroid camera, a roll film camera for 120 film. The first step is to cut. There's a light barrier between the positive and the negative chamber. And a groove needs to be cut in that light barrier to allow the film to pass to over the film plane without any um, obstruction. So the film, uh, the barrier is cut the width of the film. I normally cover over the lens and bellows while I'm cutting. The second step is to. Um, make the wind knob. The wind knob was just basically taken off an Olympus OM camera and it just involves drilling a hole through the case and I use the casing of the wind knob as well as the wind knob itself because it provides a good light seal. And once it's drilled through I just screwed it on and then inserted the uh, the wind knob. The next step is takes the longest, but it's the one that's um, the most important, and that is to create these adapters, these roll film adapters for the Polaroid camera. And I did that with Fimo clay. Fimo clay is a malleable clay which um, is easy to work with and form and it bakes hard. Now it doesn't bake hard enough so that it cracks, it bakes hard um, so that you can actually um, sand it down or carve it or fine tune it later on. Basically I just press the end of the femal clay into the roll to give it a mount that the femal clay can grab onto the roll. So I made for the receiving end, I made a mount that goes into the roll film and also pressed into the end of the film knob. The other end is basically the same kind of knob, but it has a nice little cylinder to fit into the other end of this um, slot that the Polaroid camera has. So this, when it's closed, should turn without any friction or anything. The other two ends are made, one of them, to fit as a static knob, to fit on the bottom of the Polaroid camera. And these are all actually um, made to, uh, within a fair bit of precision, so that the film will be centered on the film plane. One of these knobs 
um, will go on the one side, the static knob. The other knob I made with a piece of uh, with a piece of foam in between so that it would provide a little bit of spring. The foam seems to work well when we load the film in. To load the film, I just put the static knob on the bottom and the other knob with the spring on top and kind of snap it in place. And just stretch it across the film plane. And close the first door, then the second door. These things are tricky to lock, but just have to. In order to find out how far to advance the film, I drilled a hole in the cover and to indicate when the film is at the first exposure. You just keep winding until it says number one. There we are. That was number one that went by. Here's number two, et cetera, et cetera. The fourth step is to create a film window. That means drilling through two layers of material and I put a red filter on just for tradition's sake. I also had to file the inside to make it smooth so that the film wouldn't rip when it goes over. The uh, fifth thing that I did was make a film kind of um, a little window so that I would be shooting six by nine. If you don't do this, there's a possibility that the film will curl on the inside of your film plane and make out of focus edges. So I made this so that it'd be a six by nine and centered it, hopefully perfectly, so that the film edges will run right along the sides here and they won't curl in. The pressure plate will push it against this, but won't push it inside. Um, there have been problems if you don't use one of these, a film being pushed inside. And that's pretty much a description of um, what I did to make this modification. Um, later in the video, you see some of the details um, sketched up in a bunch of pictures just for your documentation.